get. Hi, if you can just bear with us for one moment, please. Um, do, 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 do. Da, 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 la 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 Please bear with us, the uh, Wi-Fi in the hotel isn't the fastest in the world. To be That's what she would claim us. Yes, quite. We would be better <laughs> off tethering, maybe. No. So I've got a shit load of data. No? Yeah, the, 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 the um, network okay. around here isn't great. <laughs> okay, well, we can't read your questions at the moment, but uh, we will shortly. So, let's get on with the introductions. Hi, and welcome to Geekology. Almost live. Live-ish. But. Live-y. <coughs> so, I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight, we are going to be reviewing Star Trek, the official Starship collection by Eagle Moss, the USS... Bonaventure. Bonaventure. And in so, the we have two of them. Well, yes. <laughs> <coughs> so, to get this ball rolling, here's QMX's Locutus of Borg. So, this comes in the new QMX Master Series Edition packaging. It is black with uh, an imposed... I think this is reasonably visible. Yeah, should be. Yeah. Uh, imposed hollow foil carding through. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Velcro door open for the figure. It is not done in the new Star Trek line. It is... The old one. With, with, yeah, it's the old one. Yeah. So, let's open this bad boy up. Oh my god, there's already six people watching. <laughs> we will try and answer your question shortly, but if you could just bear with us for a few minutes while Sven tries to address the technical issues. Connection being... No, my god, look at all of this. Whoa, live stream. It, if it didn't take me... Right, okay. Hi Dave, dangerous Dad. We were live stream. It didn't take if it didn't take me two hours on the train to get there. I totally dropped by. Don't you guys ever do any events in London? Uh, we, we will do. <laughs> we just haven't done that amount. Oh, oh Doritos <clears throat> and snake bite. Um, actually, it's not snake bite, but today's <clears throat> today's geekology is brought in conjunction with snacks and alchemy hall. Mm. Oh, a lovely combination. <clears throat> and Sven today brought me a present. Did I? Which we feel should feature in the episode so that we don't get ninnies complaining. <laughs> so, yeah. read carefully. La 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 la. Oh, the delay on this is hideous. Right. That's uh, a super kind of. Right. Um, Vedra Mech, hi guys. I've just ordered that. The Ball Adventure, that is. Lord. Okay. We're, we're getting to that. Don't, don't jump the gun, guys. One thing I have heard. We have to be real when we get to the bone venture. We have to be really careful with the stand. Okay, but we're not doing that. We're Shush. doing QMX's Master Series computer. And then so, Dave's gone in with. Uh, I do wonder if they'll only ever make three of those QMX figures. We're considering late. Considering yeah, it's been cancelled. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so clamshell open stuff. Oh, that parental advisory badge needs to be ten times the size and permanently tattooed to his forehead. <laughs> Rude. Who's who's with the rudeness? I, I, I'm wrong. Who's with the rudeness? Am I wrong? Who's with the rudeness? Wrong, am I? Right, so, it is a static statue figure of Locutus as he appeared in a Best of Both Worlds, part two. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's got all the extra bits it's, that were quite it's the old, at the end of It's the board. old style ball that we knew and feared, you know, complete with kitty laser pointer. What, before, before they were neutered by the Voyager? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I like the detailing on the body, although I feel that the skin coloration is wrong. He is very pink. Yeah, which is inappropriate. Yeah, it's inappropriate. But the detailing is nice, the tubing is nice. He actually looks like Picard, which personally I think is a big bonus when you're making a Picard figure. You know what? Hi, Adam Booth. I, I like this. And for the price point, 
Yes. What is the price point? Uh, $30. $30, okay. Alrighty then. Um, yes, detail's nice. It does look like, look like Patrick. It does. Um, why does the arm not look right? Mm. Like... No, that's right. Yeah, I know the length is right. I'm saying that's why it doesn't look right. Because you're no, 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 no. Why does his Borg arm not look right? It's bad. It's not right. Is the colouring? Close enough to me. It's been a long time since I saw it. Fair enough. Um, I wasn't going for accuracy. I was going for the seal. Let's <laughs> take that up to the camera so we can have a. Semi decent look at that. There we go. Do 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 I'm hoping it's focusing. Is it focusing? Time delay, can't time. Ah, okay. Da, 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 Oh, you're out of focus. That's the. No, that's no, a bonus. no. It's focusing. It's beautiful. Yeah, stunning. It's a masterpiece of your cameramanship. That's not great from normal episode. Still, Steven Spielberg should be uh, concerned that you are going to take over these directorial uh, duties. There we go. Right. Bring that back. Right. So, bring Sven. Back. There we go. Right. Packaging, whilst nice, feels cheap. It's too thin. Well, it's standard, isn't it? Yeah, it is standard. But, I mean, yeah. they can't even if they can't get master series packaging that that's feels chunky. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, how are you scoring the figure? You know, I'm actually quite surprised how good that is. Mm. I mean, it's a. It's only the coloration that puts me off. Yeah, Although, mm. when they assimilate, what are these things going to here? Mm. They differ. You know, the price range goes cheapest I've seen one go for in the UK is 20, most expensive I've seen one go for in the UK was 40. I think 25 to 30 is about right. Well, certainly wouldn't spend 40 quid on that. Oh, God, no. Uh, but in the 25, 30 quid range, yeah. Maybe. I do, um, what, let's I mean, 25. figures aren't really my thing, as we know. Um, assuming it's 25 quid, mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a 7. Okay, I'm going to go for an 8. Okay. Just because I like the general feel of it. Really should be grey. Mm. Really should have grey skin. Okay, so we even saw the probe go in and do the greatness. Sure. So enough messing about. <clears throat> Let's get on to what people have actually come to see, which is the QMX Wharf from the Masterpiece range. Although, change of packaging. This is done in the new, new style. style. They've got rid of the. Please the tell nice me that one came in the month after that one. That same month. Yeah, yeah, it quarter. Is. quarter. <laughs> They've ditched the the hollow foil. They've gone for art images, really nice art images. Although I have to say, I liked the the foil right. version. And you know, I'm not a great lover of, of this style of packaging. Yeah. It Again, looks they've gone for it? It? yes, it does. Again, they've gone for Velcro open front. Although they learned their lesson on this one, and they went for two Velcro Instead patches one. rather than one. Right. So, let's open this one up. Okay, so, um... Ladra makes said bargain at the price. Uh, hi, Linda. You're right. Uh, and Adam said, I prefer ships to figures myself. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Personal terms. Horses for courses and all of that. No, 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 no. Never eat a horse. No matter what course it is. Have you never had a fin sort of time, yeah? <laughs> I have actually had a horse steak. <laughs> Would you like to rephrase that? No, I, I have. I've, I You've have had a had horse. I, I um, ate a horse steak once. It was okay. Meat was a bit we need chewy. to thank to Paul's ancestor for the Velcro. True, we do. Very good point. Except. Carbon Creek, I think. Yeah. It looks like he's just going to beat Alexander. Um, Clean on just, style. Just double check which handhold they have it depicted in. So it 
goes into the book and I point flash. The sweating knife. <laughs> Mm, okay, that's slightly trickier than I would have liked. You, you don't think that they're actually going to move, do you? I, I was double checking because, as I said, this is trickier Careful than I Careful how you handled your bat, love. Do, 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 Looks like he's about to um, thrust it into Duras in the one uniform. <laughs> into Duras, really. Great vamping, guys. Vamping? Vamping? Ah, got it. Got it. Got it. There we go. Got you, mother, mother. Would be a better figure if Wolf was holding the Natleth in front of him. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so. Should Dave be playing around with sharp objects when he's been drinking? No. 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 Um, are those curtains fit a Starfleet regulation? I really hope not. Oh. I'd be very worried if the, the hotel was, was using uh, Starfleet regulation curtains. But hey, uh, it would have been quite nice to have gone out and filmed this on the balcony, but there is a storm <laughs> brewing here. And it's, also, it's quite windy out on the balcony. You should have seen us trying to empty the car this morning at uh, 8 o'clock, um, when basically you open the car door and you were the car door was not going to stay attacked. Car, but there we go. Okay, the face and uniform are brilliant. The sash leaves a little bit to be desired because it is a, a static piece. It's yeah. although I don't know it. If it wasn't for the sash, it'd be a nine. Sven, do you? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not so sure about that face. I like the face. I'm not sure that's a DS9 wharf makeup. It looks more like a movie. Yeah. Oh, I've got to feel it. Well, having said that, it could, it literally, that, that, that looks like it could be first contact wharf. To me. Which one? Why is it got a black Oh no, it's a bit whiny. <laughs> um, it's not bad, is it? No. That sash is gappy. I mean, that there's gap in it. I'll, call, I'll bring it up to the camera in a moment. Mm -hmm. um, his eyes look a little off to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Yeah. Wouldn't, I just hand wouldn't hold first come to Yes, you are. Yeah. In the right, so um, the, 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 the curtains look like something Neelix would have used in the mess hall. Well, it is the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't first contact Wolf and DS9 Wolf look the same, be the same? No, no, no the makeup was changed. Because <laughs> um, they obviously they spent more time on the makeup for first contact than they did in DS9. Yeah. So, yeah. You'd think they'd check the continuity, but. Yeah. Um, works for the Locutus. Works for first contact if you put in with Locutus. Mm. Except for, that was a flashback. Yeah, but. So, <laughs> still cool. Yeah. Um, okay, right, let's bring that up to the camera so you can have a look. There we go. Right. Oh, I'm focusing. There we go. I am going with mild salsa today. To go with the cool dips. Now, there's you can probably just about see the gap there. The reason for that annoying. being, you can actually see through. Sven is spending the but, weekend with me in the go. hotel room, and I'd like for him to be able to come out ungassed. There we go. Okay. Oh. How much would these wharf cost you? <clears throat> Both of those figures were loaned to me for review. I haven't paid for those. But again, with the 
the price range for the Locutus and for the Wolf are the same. However, the, there is another figure in the range, which all joking aside, we are not doing because we don't have one, which is seven of nine. <laughs> which looks terrible. Which looks hideous. Um, and the prices on that one are all over the place as well. But hey, even if we did get a seven of nine, uh, we wouldn't be reviewing it in the manner that is unbecoming, which I have seen. Have another day. Did I don't mean you, it? Dave. No, not Dave, but Dave's seen what I mean. Ah, okay. um, <laughs> no, no, no. You Dave has seen what I mean. Uh, but anyway, right. Okay, um, so let's move let's on. Let's bring those guys back a bit so they're actually in shot. That's a thought. Well, you could, we're going to move on. No, no, you, 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 you've got half a screen full of Doritos instead of, you know, product. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> moving on. How have you enjoyed your weekend, sir? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm actually awake. Borderline exhaustion. Oh, yeah, definitely exhaustion. There we go. Um, shouldn't the combos be rotated slightly to match the angle of the grey yoke on the uniform? Mm hmm. Yeah. Fair it would have twisted. Yeah. Did that new state space dock stand work okay? It hasn't fallen off. Yeah. It's been inside the case and rotating quite happily um, with this lovely little. Um, Rotate stand thing, which looks awfully like a, a um, orbital defence platform that was surrounding Cardassia, um, which is solar powered, which is <laughs> just like, okay, it all fits, it works, it's great. So, thank you very much for that day. Um, oh, made Stan. a wonderful <clears throat> display. Even better. Could you do some shout outs? <clears throat> yes, I've just done that. No, do more. There are no more, Dave. Improvise. Improvise, Dave. Do I improvise a Dave? Yeah, you can improvise a Dave. Doll, doll will probably be sufficient. Oh, you cheeky fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Did, 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 did the autopilot in the airplane have a name, Dave? <laughs> did they? Did it. Enjoying Southampton. Um, no, it's windy. Um, very, very windy. It, yeah, the weather is And so is the weather. The weather has not been our friend. The hotel has not been our friend. No. However, the committee for the event have been our friends. They're, they're lovely people. So, from that perspective, yeah. woohoo! Yeah. Okay. So it's all good, right? Um, have either of you seen any any guess about? I think Robert Duncan McNeil is there. I believe he is. He is. Yeah, I haven't run into anybody really on um, Davros. Mm hmm. Terry Malloy. He's got a table in the same room that yeah. we're, we're helping with sales stuff for. Um, da -da 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 -da. Adam asks, are you doing Liverpool Comic Con again this year, Dave? Oh, that one's ran by uh, Monopoly Events. I very much doubt that I will be attending that particular event. No, okay, shall we move on to the bonus event? However, can I strongly recommend... EM events for all your Star Trek needs. You might want to check them out for them. Uh, May. May Nottingham. is the one with yeah, Nottingham. Nottingham where they've got the Star Trek guests. Okay. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed, let's not jinx that. Okay. Right, so. Well, anyway. Oh, are we actually. Oh, oh. Stop stalling. Okay. Sven. Aren't you worried about whipping it out on the camera? Nope. Yeah, I blame these people, they wanted live events. Well, live events! We're going to do live events when neither one of us have slept properly <laughs> for the last 48 hours. Oh yeah, that's going to be for quality broadcasting. Yes. Yeah. Right, so, I'll let you play with your model. Okay. So here we go. We have the USS Bonaventure. This is a special issue, it's NCC 1000, prototype cruiser, which was designed to be the successor to the NX class, apparently. Shocking, it really looks like the classic Trek version of the NX class. It's essentially what it is. Um, some people may see it as an Archer class. You know, I've heard of this being called the Archer class, but it was out for Archer, so... Yes, yeah, so that's where it gets all a little bit confusing and complicated. Yeah, just a um, so, I mean, at the end of the day, this is a, this is essentially an Enterprise-like vehicle. 
Well, technically, all starships are Enterprise <laughs> vehicles. And also, at the, the end of the day... The O'Birth is, is it? Uh, and technically, at the end of the day, isn't it night? Uh, I've had to put up with this since like four o'clock this morning. Help me. Um, the Archer class is an entirely different design. Are you sure about that? Oh, yeah. I've heard of this one referred to as the, the Archer, Archer class. class. But there is an Archer class. Yeah, and it's, it's a different design. It's a different design. But this has been referred but to. But this has been referred to. Um, right, let's have a look. Uh, little, 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 little. Well, I asked for live Merchantman and Promelian. Yeah, we still got to do live for the next starship. That's what we were supposed to be doing. <laughs> um, they must be guessing. Desperate for new ships to release. Thing this only appears in the ships of the line book. It's not in the main collection. It's a bonus ship. So just like the um, the Titan or the Aventine. So yeah. Um, da -da -da -da. Well, I know what you need to do. But you're going to be know careful with control. the stands on the Bonaventure. I snapped my mind trying to force a ship on. Ooh, okay. I, I do believe it is incredibly tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might not want to do. Ooh, booyah! Yeah. <clears throat> this from a man who's broken ten reliance. Yes. Um, some people have filed the stand for a better fit. I can see why. Yeah. Um, lose your arrows. Huh? What? Okay. Give that. Um, hello, Michael. Have you gone for the magazine? No, I haven't got that yet. Okay. Yes, it's on the Star Trek Vanguard, Vanguard novel covers. Can I put a link on the Geekology group, please, or in the comments below? Yeah, yeah. Put a link on the Geekology group and on the link mm -hmm. below. Um, that'd be cool. Oh, I think the arrow on the bottom of the ship ship rubs off. Is it rubs? Oh. Yeah, the pennant on the bottom. That looks like it's going to come right off of you, not careful. Right. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the mag. Um, so, yeah. Class Bonaventure, operated by Starfleet. NCC 1000. First NCC prefix. What? Mm. No. NCC five something or other. I'm sure. Okay. I'm mm. sure where that's come from. No. Built late twenty second century. Prototype mm. first of its class. Yes. Very nice. Don't even need to debate. No. Um. Nowhere near. Designing the Bonaventure, there's some shots of the ship. Not quite sure what was or something on the last night, but there we go. Okay. Um, and we have some design work. Is that design work? Yeah. Yeah, for the ship for the long time. Okay. <laughs> I went to drink the dip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, the other Bonaventure. Trying to become a meme. You remember the other Bonaventure, don't yeah. you? From the anime series. You of all people would. A CG shot of the ship. Ships What's that? Line. An animated series. I do yeah. feel this. Uh, in a couple of years, you may have to be more specific. Uh, a man for all seasons. So there's Doug Crooks. Oh, we've got comments. Yeah, I'm doing this at the moment, don't I? Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, all about some of the design work going into the uh, cabin design. Well, I think, oh, that's a little bit shorter. You've seen that before, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Bonus mag. So, there we go. Okay. Um, it's a nice mag all about the ships of the line calendar, though I personally feel like Dog Drexler is throwing shade at the fan calendar that my work was in, which I didn't love. Yeah, fair enough. Would a work link in here too, gents? Uh, sort of, it has to be authorised by um, a mod, so there we go. And then there's now a, a link has appeared thanks to Dave. Thank you, Dave. Um, let's have a look, see what the link is. So we know I'll get my ship out while it's doing that. Sorry, things are a little slow. The uh, connection isn't great, as I mentioned earlier. Do, 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 
do. I think actually now now Michael Michael mentioned it. Um, I think I did see somewhere that someone's pennant on the bottom of the saucer section actually rubbed off in the packaging. Mm. Shame. Well, that's I think, happened I, in the I think yeah. someone else got the a massive scrap. Mm. Have you heard what's happened to everybody in the United States who ordered this? No. Nope. They've all got Enterprise F's instead. <laughs> They got the skews mixed up. How? Skews oh, well, got mixed yeah. up, yeah. Mm -hmm. So just like, wow. So my, my, my sticker's really not anywhere near central. <laughs> well, I've got 3137AA. What did you get? You got 1701 or something. To be honest, I didn't. Uh, I looked at it. No, I can't remember. <laughs> what did you get? 1751. 1751? Wow. AA. Wow. That really does show they're completely random. Mm. Ooh, I don't want to put that on there. The they are as daughter. random as Arthur's daughter. What? Arthur's daughter. Random Dent. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Okay. He had a daughter with Trillion in a different universe. Okay. Thanks for that. Right. Oh. Anyway. See, I always think it should be said. I actually, quick question to the boys and girls who are watching: Should it be Trillian or Trisha McMillan? Because even though she shortened her name to Trillian and used Trillian, I have heard debate choose that she should still be called Trisha McMillan, and I disagree. I feel Trisha McMillan is before she went onto the spaceship with Zaphod, and after that period, she should only be referred to as Trillian. Just curious as to if anybody else has thoughts on this. Okay. Um, the model has a really nice ass taking on it though. I posted it in, uh, from Dave. Uh, Badramac, I've posted the link on the group. I'll do the same in the comments below. Um, and we've got a give up on possible vector of Mac. Dave's response to you is, I don't care. Which I think, to be fair, he is probably the response of everybody on the basis of, we yeah. don't care, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Right. So, how are we going to score this one? Um, let's have a look. Let's, let's bring it up to the camera, shall we? Go on. Different environment, different name, makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I still don't like this. <laughs> the name in the wrong place. Yeah, I, I, I'd rather it was over the bumps at the front. I know I'm weird. I know it doesn't make any sense, Spend potentially. It makes but... you feel any better. I'd prefer my name to be over the bumps on the front as well. Wow. <laughs> that is beautifully in focus. Is it? Mm hmm. Cool. I mean, the. the and it's a good thing about your camera, it's pretty good. At, the as teching on that is really nice. There we go. It's even got the blue inserts on the inside of the warp and uh, the cells that unfortunately never made it to the original series Enterprise. Except on the uh, QMX mm. <laughs> model. Let's bring that back. That's rather like it. Oh, right. Um, makes you wonder if they'll do the version from the animated series as well. Well, let's not go there. <laughs> After the last couple of weeks. Possibly if it's requested. For everyone clamouring for an Aries from Anaxar, this is the model. I feel this model upside down is the closest you're ever going to get. Yep, I can see that. Um, this doesn't look translucent, better than the TOS Enterprise in that regard. Yep. And upside down, it's also a TOS Enzu. Yep. It's <laughs> getting a six from me. Only a six? The warp myself. What's wrong with the warp myself? Look at the inside of the warp myself. Again, what's wrong with the warp myself? It's paint. Yeah, so? And a good book of inspection. Why? There's no other end for the light to come through. That'd be pointless. <laughs> <laughs> it could be worse. It could be a starship falling on my head. Um, <clears throat> no, the, the, the putting perspex in there would be absolutely pointless. Yeah? Yeah. 
All right, then. You're, you're not giving me up a point. Yeah. Um, you know, this is a really nice model. I mean, the model's is... all right, but the join line is sloppy. It's too wide at the bottom. Mm. Now, OK, they've used that style of join line for a long time. Are you telling me they can't get it any better than that? No, it doesn't bother me because of where it is. It's kind of where there would be a line, except for this bit here, obviously. Mm. Um, I mean, as as, it, as it's a model of what it is, I mean, I, I personally... Yeah, because if it was a model of what it was, not it would be never new. <laughs> but there are things I would have done differently with the original design, personally. Mm -hmm. Mainly where the name and registry number is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but they can't help with that, based on, you know, what they're basing it on. Um, there's no real major flaws here, for me. Mm. I know you don't like that drawing line, and perhaps, I mean, there's a certain element of that is just a bit gappy at the front, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it the same on yours, I assume? Yeah. Is it the same on everybody else's? Didn't know. Um, there is Perspex um, in the buzzer drum scoop. Oh, okay, you know what? Dave says, yep, yeah, they've used <laughs> Perspex in the Buzz of Rums. Okay, you know what? I, I it retract looks my, like paint at first. I retract clear. my earlier statement due to the poor light of the hotel room. A certain amount of alcohol and a certain amount of I've been up for a really friggin' long time and this seemed like a really good idea when it was proposed to me, but it's rapidly getting worse as I know that there is a disco full of people having fun just about to kick off. <laughs> Um, yes, the scene is a bit is is a bit out, but it's not the worst scene we've done. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Um, and considering this is a bonus ship of a vessel that's never going to be produced by anybody ever officially. Yeah, agreed. You know. Um, oh, although on a completely different sideline, I'd really love to see that on screen. You know, flying past the camera, that that would actually be really epic. Mm -hmm. And in my head. There's part of me thinking, well, if the eagle happened to be this this class mm -hmm. and you upgraded it with a secondary hull, it would look like a constitution. On a completely different note. Because I take that off, obviously. I have one of the vinyl tech discoveries today. Oh my god, that thing's hideous. Vinyl tech. Mm-hmm. Vinyl tech. What's vinyl tech? And coming in met a little chubby discovery ship. They also did an enterprise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, would would either of you like to see more of the unique unique designs from the sh uh, ships of the line calendars and books? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Any Federation starship ever in anything. Do those, I'll be happy. Mm. Um, I mean, it's like I mean, I'm, for me personally, I'm still only collecting the the, the Federation ships. So um, you know, three different birds of prey can do stuff themselves. Um, no interest whatsoever. Um, I just want all of the Federation starships because mm -hmm. I'm weird like that. Um, oh yeah, the guys who did the dog toy Enterprise D. <laughs> yes, that's the one. What did you think of the survey they put out? Uh, I take you haven't seen. Good thinking, Batman. You told me about it, and I, I went and checked it out. It's right. a good idea. Um, I haven't filled it in yet. Did you read any of it? Yeah. Okay. So, twelve ninety nine. Mm. Would you be happy with twelve ninety nine issue? For it to continue. I've got no problem with that. Fair enough. Um, what about the yeah? I don't know. Did you see what what issues they were considering? I didn't look for that list. Right. Okay. Um, I mean, for me, it would be a case of if I was still a subscriber and therefore it made sense to me to fill that in, um, and submit it. Um, I would have gone very interested in Federation Starship, very interested in Federation Starship, not so interested in anything that was in TNG that's an alien vessel, and not interested at all in any of yours. <sighs> to be fair, Husnock ship, yes, quite like that. Um, a couple of the others, yes. Oh, the children of Tamar vessel, I think. Hell yeah. <coughs> but um, my personal opinion for them going forward, I've got no issue with the price hike. Mm -hmm. Fair is fair. I subscribed for 160 at the ten pounds. So if I want to go past that, well, it's more like well, 70, then, didn't yeah, and then it, it bumped up and bumped up. Yeah. So I've got no issue with that. My personal feelings are 
they should go one federation ship, one whatever. Yeah, each month. So, so you get one federation guaranteed, mm. plus a yeah. And then we'll just be pleasantly surprised by the yeah. Do you know what we've got to see? Uh, yes, but I don't think I'm allowed to say that on film. Um, what I'd quite like to see is if they did finish the normal collection, mm. if they could do a spin off ship to the line collection. And it wouldn't necessarily just be stuff from the Ships of Line book and calendar. It could be any Federation Starship they could get. Yeah, but the trouble to. is they would then double up on stuff we've already got and they would then redo the end. Oh, no, no, I mean as, a, as, a, as in an additional collection. It wouldn't, mind you, if they redid the refit Enterprise and got it right, I wouldn't complain. Um, but you could have, um, you could literally go through all the ships that have only appeared in various non canon forms, you could go through everything that was in um, Star Trek Online, uh, all the calendars, all the books, so on and so forth, and basically only the people who were after those would be, would be doing it, because there's a load of people who subscribe to the official Star Trek collection who don't want non-canon stuff because they can complain, even though it's not part of the collection, it's just a bonus issue. I don't get it. Yeah, but, yeah, but you've got to bear in mind, you get people like me, who get annoyed with the online bits because they don't tell you yeah. about it and I feel that's unfair because you do get people who do not and okay what I'm about to say may seem offensive and it is not meant to offend it is simply my own personal opinion and I would prefer just to say damn it, it Dave you actually think you can have your own personal opinion on the internet I'm going to try is, for it <clears throat> God, if you know what I said that, I put the disclaimer in, now I can't believe what the bloody hell I was going to say. What was I saying? Drink some more alcohol. No, what, what, <laughs> was, what were we talking about just before that? It was... Oh, can, yeah, canon on canon and, and the... Yeah, I do not spend my life online. Okay? You frequently have to go, did you see such and such? No, I didn't. What, what is it? Oh, okay. you know, yeah, I'm not, I'm not being funny about it. What I'm saying is... A lot of the, the politics and stuff within various Star Trek things and various other things you may be aware of because I'm quite happily with the blinkers. I don't really use Facebook as such. I'm on it and I post stuff, but I'm just posting stuff I think people would be interested in. I don't go on attacks, I don't go on rants, I don't well I do go on rants. That's a different matter. But I you, you know, if good. if you didn't tell me about yeah. some of the the bonus ships, I would have I'd have missed I'd have missed out on the Yorktown. Yeah. Missed out on uh, what was Aventine, the Aventine. The Aventine. Um, the no, I'd have got the Titan. Two. I knew about that one. I knew about the Phase Two, but I only knew about that because somebody on Facebook went Dave, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Um, let's go back to what people have been saying. Right, okay. Um, once you've seen the image of the Arch Class, you might like one too. Uh, Adam's asked what survey. Um, see, what, see, that's a good point. Yeah. What survey? Yeah. You, you told me about this. Yes, because I saw it posted on uh, Dave's uh, wonderful that's hero collection. Dave does a good job. Fan group, because Dave's brilliant. Um, no, I wouldn't go that far. He can be a complete tool. <laughs> Drink some more alcohol. <laughs> Dig yourself a bigger hole. Um, <laughs> wow. Only um, human beings, all human beings can be complete tool. Mother Teresa was a mother. I'm just directing to the tool in the room. Um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, I would like to remastered earlier models. The Voyager needs remastering. The Voyager desperately needs to. Refit employees needs to be doing. Mm. It'd be nice to see an Enterprise D where the circle Spend. is the right sizes. Please stop flipping the model. Why? Because you're going to break it. No, no. Um, Enterprise C from Dave. <laughs> I think Dave has a thing about the Enterprise C. Dave has a thing about the C. Um, Garrett would be proud. Dave doesn't spend his life trawling through the Facebook page for info because he has a life. Well, no. <laughs> no, yeah. I, just, I just have... Different outlets. <laughs> uh, ideas for the future. Saucer set, galaxy, McKinley Station, Starbase 329. I can't see those happening now, mm. unfortunately. Um, instead of redoing the Enterprise C, when we, maybe we can have the... Yeah, we can I, do, I know it's quite boring, mm. but I would have genuinely liked to have seen 
The Argus Array. You might just go down to your local high street. It's usually one on the high street on one in Sainsbury's now. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Um, uh, Dave says unsubscribe. Bother. <laughs> anyway, getting back to this. Yeah, because I haven't scored it yet. And stuff, and I'm just winding you up by flipping it around. Mm -hmm. Did you know well it bothers me? I know it bothers you. I'm, I'm loving this. Anyway, um, I rather like this. Which, considering it's a classic Trek ship in design, is strange. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the Enterprise. Who doesn't? But I prefer the Reefer, obviously. Um, I actually prefer the Enterprise E as well, but we won't do that. Um, this is Aztec in, 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 in a wonderful fashion. Um, I, I, really quite, I really like this. Even though I'm not the hugest fan of the design, I think this, this model is really, really nice. So I'm going to give it eight and a half. Okay. What did you give it? I originally gave it score and then I redacted it and gave it the extra one because I, I on was side. unaware of the nestles and never let it be said oh, I can't be brought round with the cunning. Kind of yeah. I mean, to be fair, that stand takes one mark off and I'm knocking a half a mark off uh, for the very the, the minor join things. Mark um, but that that is not good. Um, but I, I'm, really, I'm really glad I've got that. That's really cool. Mm. To be fair. Actually, you know what? If <clears throat> Since people are, are filing the stand, guys, filing a stand? Yeah, fine. However, a far easier approach, a far less radical approach, and an approach that does far less damage to the stand is to simply warm it in warm water, put a hairdryer on it, and then use a butter knife slowly to increase the gap. You do far less damage to the perspex, and it is not as obvious that you have modified your stand. Is that what you're going to do? Mine sits on the stand okay, but if I was going to modify it, that is how I modify this. I've modified several stands in the past. Did you do that to rely? The suicidal reliance. The suicidal I've tightened. Reliance. I've tightened the stand. I have one stand now that is like so a made, vice grip. So you made the stand like the Titan one. <laughs> Sven. Yeah. We do not have long left. Okay, and we're back to uh, here. Um, to be fair, the model is mostly metal. I don't think you're going to snap anything off it. Mm. Yeah, to be fair, that's, it is nice. Can't knock it for bonus ship, and we really can't. Um, Adam says we already have the ambassador class Yamaguchi. It just has the markings on the Enterprise C. Uh, at which point Dave responded, "The EM Enterprise C was like twenty percent Yamaguchi, ten percent Enterprise C, and like seventy percent random crap." <laughs> yeah, this shape was all wrong. Let's, let's be really uh, honest. Um, easily one of the worst models, but I digress. Easily one of the worst models from Adam, but I digress from Dave. Are you heading down to the 10th to party for the... Sorry, are you heading down to 10th for the party? Yes, yes we are. Yes, yes, yes we, we are. For as long as we stay awake, because of the money. That's looking interesting, to say the least. Right, okay. Right, so we will answer three questions, and then we are calling it a night. So get it in now. That's what she said. Tis what she proclaimeth. Okay. Really? 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 Okay. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> you can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both really? Facebook and Twitter. And of course, there is the Patreon account. Patreon if you haven't account, already, please subscribe. It. Thank you and have a good night. Push the Will there be footage or recording of you of you dancing, Jens? There won't be Push. any footage of me re recording me dancing on the basis that I'm not a good dancer. No, 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 no. I can barely walk. Sven, push, push the button, Sven. Push the button. Push the button. Push the button. Push the button. You're not the sugar babes. No, I'm not. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Good nice. night. Have a good night.